Gary Peterson here today, I'm going to show you a standard drop shot, a standard forehand drop shot. Now a lot of people are taught to get down very low and get beside the ball, so if the ball is here, they're taught to actually come around and get right down here. Now what that's doing is that it's actually giving your opponent full view of the ball and it's very, very hard on your legs and generally you don't have that much time to be able to do that sort of a shot or to play that sort of a shot. And if you do have that sort of time, there's better ways to hit the ball than there is to actually just get right around beside the ball. Now, what I'm going to show you is a basic way to play a great quality drop shot and it's really simple. All I'm going to ask you to do is to cut across the line of the ball. Now it's really, really simple. What we're after is the racket to go across this way, across your body, straight across this way, not this way in the direction you're hitting. And the reason it works is because you actually slice the ball and keep the racket on the ball for a long period of time, you get wonderful control. If I put the ball here and go across, you get a pretty reasonable outcome. Now if I set that off a boast and attack it a little bit as well, so across here and across, you see you get quite a really good result and it's really simple to do. There's other advantages in that you tend to keep your body more upright. You don't have to get down here to do all this. So you can hit on full extension, which is around about here. Now what you do is you drop your wrist a little bit. So instead of actually keeping your wrist cocked back this way, you drop your wrist down to around about here. That's still basically in my mind a cocked wrist, that's a broken wrist. So your wrist is still cocked in this position. So when you come from here and you hit across there, your wrist is still very much in control. So it's a wonderful way to hit. So when the ball comes there, you go across, you'll find you get wonderful, wonderful control. So here, the more you go across, the more you'll find it's really easy. Once again, and across. Now you see the outcomes are really consistent. You get a really good outcome. It's a really, really great way to hit. So it's really, really quite simple. The more you go in the line of the ball, the more difficult it is for you to actually get control out of the ball and to play the quality shot. The more you go across the line, the more control you'll have because the ball will be on the racket for a longer period of time. So pretty much, if you try that, if you work on just working and cutting across the line of the ball, you need to get forward motion in your body a little bit. So you go across, open your stance. Don't step at the ball. If you step at the ball, it's really hard to go across this way. Just make sure you do stay open. So when there, I'll come here and I'll stay open and make sure that I clear my front leg. So that's about all there is to just a really stock standard, easy to play, nice basic drop. You can hit it late, you can hit it early, you can do all sorts of things, but cut across it. Make sure you cut across it. Have a go at that and I'm sure it'll improve the quality of your standard drop shot. Okay, today we're going to have a look at a forehand boast out of the back corner. We're going to look at body turn. I've got Jess, she's going to give us a hand. And the shot is this is from here. So we're, look, we're after using our body to get the ball out, not our racket swing too much. So there, and we're just going to turn and the ball will come out. So it's about body turn. So I'll get Jess to throw the ball in. We're going to go back wall, side wall, one bounce, and then we strike the ball. Okay. You didn't use body turn, you tried to muscle it in with your arm. I just want body turn. Body turn. Okay, you still smashed it in and you didn't use your body enough, you used your arm too much. Let's go, body up, body, body. Okay. This is really, really good because Jess does what a lot of people do. They just believe you have to just smash the ball into the side wall somewhere there and it'll go up. It's not how it works. If you can, if you look at the mechanics of what we do, if you get body prep, and I try and hit off my back hip, so I turn my body out early, if I go from there and I get even my weight onto my back foot, there, then it'll open up the whole shot and the ball will go up, yeah? If I put my weight on my front foot, the whole ball will go down. It's really, really difficult to get it out. So actually the more you can pivot off your body and turn off your back foot, the more I can turn it up there and hardly even hit the ball and it goes in. So it's not even difficult if I go off my back foot. So the more I pivot off my back foot, sorry, tough one. The more I pivot off my back foot there, the more I'll open my body, which means the more the ball will go in. Secondly, it gives you another added benefit in that your swing, if you go up this foot here, is really shallow through here. Really shallow, so it's not like this. It shallows it out, it comes through there. So when the ball's tight, you can just turn and the ball will just come out. So it's all about body turn, weight on your back foot, not your front foot. You still smashed it into the side wall. 
Open your racket face is what we do. The ball goes upwards. It's all about height, not power. Nearly, nearly, nearly. I like it. You slowed down, everything got better. You're still too far away from the ball. You need to get close. If you hit close off your feet almost, you'll find you've got good control. Nearly. Body turn. Body prep. Prep. Right. Now I want you not to use your arm much and only use your body. In other words, we're going to keep our arm. You'll have to move it a little bit, but just generally, your body doesn't have to be fast. You can just come around and turn. So it's all about body prep. From You come back and then forward through the ball. Minimal arm. Hit the ball nice and high. Hit the ball nice and high. You're still really closing off your feet. You went on your front foot, closed the ball off and smashed it into the side wall. You need to go off your back foot. Your weight transfers onto your back foot and you pivot about your back foot. So pivot about your back foot. Here, and pivot, go. Yeah. Look at that. How easy did that come out? That was phenomenal. That was amazing, the difference. Yeah. Look at that, that went in no trouble whatsoever where before they were just smashing into the floor. Again, pivot off your back foot. <laughs> it came off your back hip and everything. It's just amazingly better. So much better. Yeah. See, off your back hip, pivot off your back foot. That's really, really good. Oh, you nearly closed that one off off your front foot. You were so close. Okay. So now we can go through our second phase again. We can go where we are, start to lift our body up as we hit. So the ball is back there. We get down low and we lift up. So we turn our body and lift up, keeping our weight generally on our back foot. Turn your body out nice and early. So you come through there. There. Lift up. It will go in nicely. Get down low. Yeah, and you can pull it up. Okay, now we're going to go for the second stage. We're going to stand out about here. We're going to throw the ball in the corner, get down there, and lift up. See, there you go. Throw it in. Yeah, it's too easy, really. Good. Okay, now. That's pretty good. I reckon you're ready. We'll have a go. There you go. Just remember it's not about the outcome for this one. It's about engaging your body the correct way, which is what we wanted to. We need to understand the feeling of getting your body to do the work instead of trying to smash your arm through the ball as hard as you can to get the ball in. So as long as you go from there and you go turn, the ball will go in. I hardly hit it. I just turn my body. I hit the ball high and I hit the ball towards the front wall on the side, where it hits the side wall. So go with that and that'll make a big difference to you being able to get anything in this area out of the back corner with body turn and your forehand boast.